Hi guys, welcome back. We've been a little bit quiet on YouTube. Uh, there's been a reason for that. As you can see behind me, it looks like a little bit of a mess, which it is. So this video is designed to show you the full rebuild type of thing of our unit. So our unit didn't need to be in any way reconstructed, uh, but we're doing it anyway. I will explain in a little bit as to why we're doing it. Um, so this is currently, as we speak, this is week one of the build. We're still in early January. Um, so as you can see behind me, let's have a look. Looks like a mess. Now, what we have done, I will start from the door. Again, we've repainted the doors over there as well. So we've kind of gone with like a black theme. Actually, as the video still stands, uh, the first stage, which is the paint, has not yet been complete. As you can see, um, the paint stuff is still here. So I'm kind of filming in between. Now, the, the door is gonna get coated in a few more coats, just so it's a better angle. Um, a few more coats, the same as with this door. Um, so basically what we've had done is, if you look up, so all, look at the ceilings. Um, all of that has been actually sprayed. So currently we're working on about three coats. Um, it's curing off. Again, there's a few little issues. So up here, as you, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Um, there's still a bit of patches. So we're gonna be redoing a few more bits as well. Um, it's interesting because it's, um, Everything that we could move has been masked up. Um, so again, the ramps and stuff are under there. We've got about four layers of sheeting as well down. But so stuff like the edges as well has all been painted up. The whole roof is being done. Um, and also everything at ground level. Now, you can see just here, all the fill marks into the wall. Um, that's for stage two, which is going to follow. Um, I won't kind of ruin the surprise just yet as you're watching the video, but stage two is going to be joined in together with this stage. Um, but as you can see, we've had literally the whole unit again, that's been all masked off. You just sadly can't take that off the wall. It's too good. Um, so the whole thing's been painted, um, cleaned, because up on the ledges as well, up there, um, obviously dust and stuff so it's been clean it's been sprayed so all of this is sprayed so that's caused its own little issues a little bit with kind of air, um, air atomized uh, paint particles in fact I'll show you something so the heater has been used our brand new clean fully detailed heater being used by the painters so yeah not good so we're going to get a new one of them because that can never ever be used again in our place we'll probably just give it to the painters to use in their future projects um but yes so this is what day is this so it's sunday today actually it's about five o'clock so we're finishing up we've got one more day of the painting to do so touching up on the roof and stuff like i said and tomorrow so it's again monday tomorrow um, we've got a week booked in with phase two and then after that, we're gonna get onto phase three, which is, which obviously, again, is another level of something that we're doing in this unit. And then hopefully we're gonna open up um, as soon as possible. But again, we've, as I said, we've got other locations as well. So um, even though we can't do any manual work in this unit, clearly for obvious reasons, um, we've had, our online orders, in fact, we've been closed and the online orders like trebled. So it's been good. Um, so we've kind of also been helping with this and also sorting out our e-commerce side as well. Um, hopefully another country to add to the list as well, which is great. All while we've been closed, so as you can imagine, it's been very, very busy. We're probably here until 10 o'clock every night. Um, obviously not with the painters because they actually have a life um, but with other stuff that we're sorting out in preparation for opening um, Yumcars 2.0. So, yes, painting's almost done. I'll see you on the next one, guys.
So phase two started bright and early. So it's Monday morning, 7 a.m., Henry Hall from Sheffield, the slat wall company. Um, they came down to start installing our slat walls. Um, so the reason why we went for the slat walls instead of other, say, metal shelves is the industrial shelves can hold more weight technically, but the slat walls look nicer and they would tie into our unit and result a lot better. And also the shelving itself that would sit inside the slats is more interchangeable. So um, you can hold accessories, products, etc. So Henry Hall here, you could see the main man just pointing out on the wall where the best place to start is. And um, we booked them for a whole week, but the initial installation of the wall took 24 hours actually. So as soon as the first screws came in, it was very quick. Um, nice and easy I hope for them um, but for the following four or five days uh, they came back to do final tweaks and adjustments you know extra cuts um, but yeah this is the slat wall project that um, I think really kind of started to put the unit into perspective and how it would look so we're now on stage two of our build again the painting was already done now we've had the slat walls in the last week being built as well. So I'm gonna just pan around. Now I think that looks mega. So I'll just quickly walk you around. So basically we're gonna have all the shelves, etc., on here. Again, the unit's still in process of being cleared, some stuff. So we've put a few testers on. So Euro hooks, etc., for the towels. Seeing how they look, but we're gonna have shelves in between the slats here. So a complete retail environment. And these shelves apparently hold quite a lot of weight as well. So that's quite cool. Um, I think actually as well, it makes the unit look bigger in person, which is always cool as well. Cause I mean, it's not a small unit, but it just, gives a weird effect. Now, the next stage, which is, so at the minute, it's a Sunday. The next stage, we're gonna have our Jura cabinets coming in tomorrow. Again, that's another week's build, where I think we're getting, we're a couple of ton worth of cabinets in here. So the whole back wall's been totally custom built. So it's gonna be wall to wall. We're gonna have our shipping stations all the way up to there as well, leaving a gap to walk. So I think it'd be quite cool. It's just, especially for the middle bit, I will do another video in detail on all of the things.
So the pallets have been taken off from Jura. We've still got the work van here. Um, I'll just show you the scale of what's arrived. So I think there's about two, three ton of metal in here. So I'll just walk around real quick. So as far as aware, I think they're doing the leveling on um, on the cabinets. most important part of the installation. So as you've seen there, um, we're still in the midst, so it's, uh, it's day one. So they're just doing the leveling on the legs so they can actually push everything back. Neil, the electrician, who's the silver fox, um, he's just doing some final wiring that will lead the power all the way from the plug. So from, from here, it's going down, just there, and it's gonna run all the way. The entire length, so that's gonna power all our um, e-commerce stuff, the packing, the shipping, um, and any other accessories that we're gonna have for the customers, so like the charging point, etc. cetera. Um, and then you've got the guys on the back, again, leveling it first, then they're gonna start bolting it in, but in the meantime as well, as they're doing that, you've got, again, the electrician, he's feeding the power at the back now for the washing machines, um, because we're still gonna keep the washing machines inside the unit, um, but they're just gonna be inside the cabinets now, so we're drilling into the cabinet, um, so everything's hidden and it's gonna be flush, so I'm excited to take you through the whole thing. So I think this is gonna be, well, I've booked a week for this. The thing is going to be done by Wednesday slash Thursday, maybe. So depending on the time that's been spent today on it. Um, again, Jura. Um, I'll be doing a standalone video on the cabinets anyway in a week's time, I think. But so far, it's looking good. If anybody's been here in person and seen our unit look before, um, it's a mess. It's a mess, but we'll get there. So we're just getting the wiring ready for, for the power points. So we've moved it from here, obviously through the wall. It's gonna go down. And then back out here and um, all the way out. Hi guys, welcome back. We're glad to be back. Um, so the unit's now finished. As you've seen, there was a lot of work involved in getting this place done. So now it's all completed. I'm gonna walk you around the whole place, show you exactly what is what and where is all the things now. So, as you can see behind me now, the units are complete. LED lights finally installed underneath. Um, but I'll walk you around through, as you walk through the door and show you so finally everything is complete um loving the new unit so again we had the door painted black as in the previous videos if you remember it was blue so products on the shelves looks great so basically yeah the slat walls um, are finally in we've had a bit of a mess around with the shelves now, there's a lot of options for shelves. Um, so we decided on the glass 
Um, they're not cheap, as you can imagine, it's like tough and glass. Um, there was like wood, any color you want, or I think it was plastic perspex shells. But anyway, the glass is in. Um, so on this wall, you've got the compact range. This wall, you've got the full 500 mils. And on that wall, you've got the accessories and a bit of merchandise and accessories as well on there. Um, if you pay close attention, so you've got the five liters on the floor, we've got the t-shirts, they're still not live on the website because a new website is coming as well. So they'll be launched on there. We've got a full set of wheel willies, accessories, all the sizes. We, we co-branded with them on this one. So they are literally the best in the world. Um, now, in fact, let me take you through. So as you walk through the door, the first thing that will hit you on this side is basically you've got a breakfast bar style setting. So this is the customer side. Obviously you've got the nice fridge there as well, full of drinks, nice chairs, brand new coffee machine as well. So the purpose for this was when a customer comes in, if you've got, let's say, a car in the bay, they can see it, they can potentially watch us work. If you've got any training events, um, again, you could sit this side, enjoy yourself and be comfortable. That's the main thing. Um, so yeah, that is literally it here. Um, each, each point has got charging. I know you can't see it because everything's been matched in black but we've got all the charging points for the customers. Um, as I said previously, a couple of weeks back, um, our electrician has literally plumbed, or wired, I'm sorry, all the electrics underneath this. So let's go around the other side and I'll tell you why we did what we did with this side. So this side, as you can see, is a completely different array of cabinets. Um, and this is done specifically for us. Um, for the distribution side. Now, we're pushing now into almost seven countries. Um, obviously, Spain, we've got a guy in Northern Europe, so I won't tell you which country just yet, um, but he's from that specific HQ. He's doing five countries surrounding. Uh, so if you look on the map, you'll see which countries I'm talking about. Um, so in terms of the distribution, we've got South and North Europe now. We've got potentially other places on board as well. So this side was really important for us. Um, so me and Kelly could literally, almost like in an airport scenario, start here and move all the way across the deck, packing and shipping. So I'll open a few cupboards. I won't bore you with the details. But for example, loose fill, tape, accessories, Stuff like that is in there. You've got our whole shipping side in this middle cupboard. So we've got the printers all good to go, always live. You press a button, labels come out um, with DPD. So that's perfect. Again, we hold anything with shipping or for the customers this side. Um, so like triggers, bags, anything like that. New POS, so point of sale system. Um, complete integrated into the worktop, but it's movable. And of course, as a present with a new unit, we've got the gold pens to match the gold signs. Um, as I said, uh, where are we at? So new coffee machine, pressure washer remains the same, air compression stuff here, polishes on the wall, still the same. Um, now moving on to the back cabinets. I mean, they look sick really nice um, so they're custom built to fit the wall as you can see now it's wall to wall whereas in the past i think it was like from here to here so nice unit it was but of course it's improved so the stuff on the back is specifically for us to be doing this work so the detail inside a lot of people have been asking us I still do the detail inside because the picture's taken from over there. You couldn't see the ramp. So yes, we are still doing this. So we've cut it down to a one car bay now um, because of this. So 
that is the unit, UMCOS 2.0, all complete, looks really cool. In fact, I forgot to mention these covers, as I said, they are for us. Um, washing machines are integrated into there, so all pre-plumbed, good to go, so we don't have to kind of have them on display. Everything else in there is for literally anything detail related. Um, any area is covered within these cupboards. That's more of an overflow cupboard as well. So we've got obviously our chemicals there, but if we need to stock anything else in that big cupboard and these ground floor cupboards mirror what is in the top cupboards, um, exterior, interior, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's the unit complete. It looks cool, I think. So want to shout out to all the companies who have helped us with the build. The tradesmen obviously up here, the companies that did the walls, the shelving, and of course the cabinets. I'm going to link them down below. If you've got any questions, a lot of these companies don't call on their websites. So if you've got any questions, you can email me, Instagram, Facebook, anything like that, about if you're not sure who to speak to with these relevant companies. But that's Jura, Henry Hall, and Dennis the Painter. Um, also, electrician's probably the best you'll find, honestly, he's really clean. Um, so thank you to all those companies that have helped us with the build. Um, the people who've supported us moving everything. Uh, we had everything short of the floor up. In fact, well, we did have part of the floor up as well. Um, but there was a bit of a mess on the floor, so we had to clean that up. We literally detailed every crack and crevice of this floor. Um, but yes, thank you to the people who bought our old cabinets, our old shelves, sofas, everything went. Obviously, it's quite a big operation, especially moving the back cabinets because they must have weighed about a ton, uh, realistically. So all of those are gone. Actually, the people who bought my cabinets are in London. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but these, well, they are the stunt drivers for Warner Bros. So, you know, the company that make all the, all the films, like the big, big company. So yeah, that was them who bought it. Um, so guys, I hope you're enjoying the cabinets. Um, we don't wreck them. So yeah, guys, thank you very much. I will be doing individual videos. I will most likely do a standalone video on the Jura cabinets because there's a lot to cover um, about how it was all done, who we spoke to, the CAD drawings that happened. Um, so most likely after this video, there will be a standalone video on the Jura cabinets. And um, again, awesome guys. So guys, thank you so much for the support and we're glad to be back. See you guys soon.